Yo, welcome back to the Mahi Talks podcast. We are your host, K9, aka Kicks, aka Ya Boy. And today we've got the one, the only, the man, the myth, baby, Renman 10. What's up? Renman 10. Is it, is it, is it Mr. It's always, always, or is ever it Mr. Been it? always ever been it. Oh, I don't know. There was, yeah, a, there, was, there, was a, there was a, there was a week. There was a weak time when it was oh, Mr. Boy Boy Instagram, was you can't, I can't even get my own name. Someone, one of you <laughs> have taken my name. You must be waiting for one day we have to buy it off you. Welcome back, welcome back. So Enjoy. we're just going to give our update about our, our, our last week and our brand. Um, and then also talk shit about other things that pop up. But yeah, um, I guess first things first. We did it. Yep. Website's up. It went up. Last Tuesday, we were supposed to put it up on Monday, but we are both, while well, you were away, yeah. uh, recovering, mad shout out. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, guys, we're going to start this right. Nothing but love. We're going to start off our segments. Nothing but love. All right, I got nothing but love for Demonized. It was a birthday on the nice. weekend. Um, your, your boy went out. He was doing, when I say your boy, Remington. And all his other mahi boys in the background. Um, they were doing a lot of mahi throughout the week. You know, eeling, fishing, mm. diving, cooking, cutting, yeah, snorting, you know. Snorting. Whole lot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, mad shout out to him and obviously all the boys that, that pulled through to, to, to support the day for him. I know he appreciated it a lot. Hard. That's my nothing but love, bro. What about you? No. Uh, my nothing but love... Is for everyone out there it has a second half that keeps them on track. That mm. mind's my wife. I thought your, your wife was your last week. No, it was Fano for oh. Koi. Oh. Yeah, for Demon on. <laughs> <laughs> I got the wife two, oh, two oh, weeks in a row. Oh, 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 two weeks now. <laughs> but yeah, it just keeps me, keeps me on track, keeps me sane. And uh, I keeps reminding you why you do what you do. So yeah. it's a good, um, yeah. good good uh good person to rely on and just know that's your that's your true north is there oh is that your true north north, is it jeez true south i think that is sure a few people be able to relate some people probably won't (laughs) (laughs) uh at uh meet the fungus yeah (laughs) that was actually our first one yeah man we're all over the place we need to get some get some followers man we're even (laughs) focusing on that so to cut it back to the update of the week um, website went live you can find us mahidogs.co.nz yes. Jesus gone dark on the thing yes. that's alright you know because it's supposed to be chill but I don't know if it's really that chill as you can see me yeah yeah let me see if I can pump up the light nah, on my yeah, side so I can uh... but pretty much yeah it was again we're supposed to put it out on Monday um, the bro was recovering mm. from his I don't know five day bender <laughs> so someone's got to do it bro I take it upon myself let's keep going to help everyone else. Okay. Some people are built for it, some aren't. I love it. I love it. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean... Successful launch? Successful launch. We really got a um, yeah. little bit of an Easter egg. So someone came... So whoever went through first and yeah. bought something, we were going to drop them a shirt. Yeah. That was our boy Mark. Yes, Mark Coleman is Dowers. Th- I'm pretty sure he came through, so we dropped within minutes. Man. Within minutes, and when we were trying to get a discount discount code up, yeah. If you haven't already, discount code is up on Instagram, Facebook. Check it out. It's only limited. I think it's done. Oh, is it done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. is it done? It's done. So, done a first stash. in, first yeah. in. It's done a stash. It did the money it needed to. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just a way for us to give back to our. Our pack, yeah. our, 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 our group. Plus, it's pretty cool knowing that we're gamers. In most games, you have like an Easter egg or something that's unknowingly there and unbeknown to Mark. He was yeah. the first person. We didn't put it out on uh, on social media or anything. We wanted but, to see who the royals yeah. were. And the first one that come through, we said we'll give them a, a free top between ourselves. So, shout out to Mark, man. Big up to anyone else that purchased um, from a Mahi Dog store. Dropping 27th of October, our yeah. oil skins. Yeah. Um, Closing was, it off on the 13th. Oh, is that the thing? Yeah. So it gives us two weeks up until the... We'll still add 20, a couple more on yeah. there, right? Just yeah. so that we have some in the thing. Yeah. We have, we have a couple couple's uh, restocks. Not much. 
but we're going to cut off the pre-orders on the 13th and then if you come in after the 13th you're just going to have to try and purchase what we have um in the in the stock just so it gives us time for us to get it to the suppliers yeah. then to get it back so that everyone gets their oil skin we, on time we're still tiny we're still tiny yeah we're still trying to build it up if it was up to us fuck we have our own factory oh, yeah and our own little slaves <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> all of our money and you know what if we nah never mind that's way too ambitious <laughs> have our own factory we just hire people from my, my program <laughs> oh jeez straight you know out what? of it one thing we could look at though is kind of like a off the side buzz like you know um if we ever got our own clothing out uh, the octopus mm. whatever that thing is um and then just creating a little bit more screen extra printing. flow yeah you screen printing out there. Stuff. yeah i think that's a good way to uh because then you can make your own designs and then put them straight on a t-shirt straight away with the yeah. with the uh paint to be different yeah. designs yeah we can get a maybe a couple faster. of um, um, sewing machines. Have you seen the automated ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can always do our bulk, um, our bulk Shirts supplies overseas for our new designs and that. But if we had, you know, like a sports team that we we're supporting or bump, a cause bump. of some sort, we can always do it really quickly on the screen printing. We can even get people in. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, we're really known for our quickness in the uh, <laughs> clothing area. We're definitely known yeah. for being ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is, baby, all ambition. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we kind of crossed off our task for last week. Task this week. That was sick. Definitely looking at some mate dog packaging. Yeah. To yeah, to make us more professional, eh? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck like, look. I want that experience of when, you know, it lands in their lap. Yeah. Oh, shit. You it's know, like a big, what, like, whoa, just, what the yeah. fuck? Like, oh, yo. More than just the clothing, you know, you fucking yeah. open that up and it's... Um, you know, a big old um, boom. Yeah. <laughs> big up a cup. Big up a cup comes through the packaging. No, you know, just gonna make it more of an experience for everyone. To, um, open yeah. up the stuff, and that way, you know, people take more photos. People yeah. take more for, and it just shows us showing us a little bit more love towards the clothing as well. Yeah. Not that we don't. It's just to go even further. Yeah. And then also, looking at how we can support our previous purchasers yeah yeah the so true. everyone that's purchased before this date eh? like when we were really really small when we were a, a shared yeah. made brand what's something that we can give back to them yeah and then also we're looking at you doing just getting some little stuff and just for fun yeah. you know like some little um then, yeah um and then some nah. <laughs> i don't know if i keep that I was, I was trying to see if you knew what i was saying like maybe some phone cases or something like that yeah Something easy and cheap. That you some can nice pick little up. accessories, yeah, eh? Yeah, some nice, nice accessories, eh? Yeah. Just start to cut out. Yeah. But yeah, that's about it, I think, for the engine update. Yeah. Oh, other than your boy in Eng uh, engine, your boy Rimmon 10, we're going to be looking at a new drop soon. Yes, 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 yes. Stay very tuned because our store is going to be where everything is going to be updated on. You can follow us on Insta. Mahi Dogs, Facebook, uh, and TikTok, but we're going to shoot all of our stuff to our Shopify, which is at mahidogs.co.nz. Have our videos, but also, most importantly, our new drops. So if you want to check that out and you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, jump on our um, email subscribe list, chuck in your email there, and we'll send through all the information when it drops on our side so that you're the first ones to know. That's right. We're still gonna figure out what the email list looks like. But... Yeah, we'll definitely get it. We'll definitely get yeah. it. It just it'll have to be manual for now until we can yeah. sort out our method on our side. We should um do a little bit of a not a, like a pitch off, but like a um. You go like all right by this date next month or something like that. Mm. Send me designs and things of what everyone thinks we should be dropping next. Not uh, like into it, into it, not out to external. Yeah. We could do that later on. Yeah. But just to see what everyone's heads at and what they're thinking from yeah. my dog stuff. That's why I put like on our on our page is that like our brand itself is actually like a people's brand. Like yeah. we're making it for people that we know, like people around us that we like, like the street clothing, the shit that we want to wear. hunting and gathering. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. if you have any ideas or anything like that, we'll definitely take it into consideration because that's who that's who our market is. You don't just want like a brand that makes stuff and forces it down your throat mm. that you're not like that you don't want. But yeah, we just we can do what the hell we want to be yeah, honest. We just 
And that's what we do. Surely what we do is we, build, we <laughs> make stuff we want to wear, to be honest. Yeah. And then Hard. other people are surely going to want to do yeah. it. And obviously, I think the other tactic to that is, this is us trying to learn from mm. the ICE project. The, yeah. um, self-education. Called? Our self-education. Yeah. Um, just giving guys heaps of fucking value. Mm. So much so that, like, you guys feel you have to die <laughs> so much so like you guys like want to support us just by buying our merch and stuff like yeah. that so by us giving out you know these these podcasts that we're going to try and keep consistent yeah um and then obviously giving more entertainment um for our make dog mondays when that comes in our live streams yeah um we start if we start hitting those right spots you know that's one way to back us yeah so that's us for our quick update on our update. our week our week update. Yeah. Topic. What do you want to start first? Yeah, I can start first. What's your um, topic? I had this main one. So I was watching uh, on YouTube. Like it's been popping up a lot. You know how like you have those videos. Yeah. But then you have like the real short videos that pop up underneath it. YouTube sh- shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those ones. And um, I clicked on a random Floyd Mayweather one because I love Money Mayweather, man. He's a goat. He just does what he wants. Like, he's got so much money. Team Money. His name but, is Money. Yeah. <laughs> and his philosophy was like, I didn't make boxing, but I perfected it. Like, that's his. I was like, people people shit on him. Yeah. But, but he's, I, remember, I remember watching an uh, interview document, documentary, documentary yeah. about him. And he was saying, I want to be able to go into boxing and come out and still... With yeah, my mind intact. yeah, that yeah, was bro. his whole plan. Yeah, bro. Because I mean, you know, if you look at all our greats now, you know. yeah, it is like, bro. That's like that's what it is. I can do that because it's quite dark and you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> but what he was specifically talking about was um, was social media. He said that he <clears throat> he doesn't have any social media on any of his devices, like none. Oh, he doesn't. No, nah. no, like so he 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 does his own social media. Yeah, but he doesn't have them on any of his phones, and I was like. Like, when he said that, I was like, why the hell would you not? You're like the biggest guy in the world. Surely, because I see all your videos, surely you'd be on everything. But what he said was, you've got 24 hours in a day. Oh, right? I watched this one. Bro, I watched this one. Did you see one. this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. freaking sick. So he was like, you got 24 hours of the day. You're sleeping for like eight, you know, average. eight of them. Yeah, till eight in the morning, right? So it's eight hours gone. Then you work from nine to five, which is what? Another, another eight hours. Yeah. So that's 16 hours gone. And then in between that, you've got lunch, breakfast, dinner. Like you'll probably say like an hour. An hour? Oh, you could probably, oh, <laughs> what, what, oh actually, yeah, you could probably say like more like two, two, two hours, two, three yeah, hours. Yeah, three, four. Because like, you've got to prep and stuff, right? So yeah. Three. So that's probably like, what, up to 19, 20 hours. So there's four hours of the day. That you got. That you, yeah. That you've got for yourself, right? And to try and self-educate yourself like us. Or to push forward into something else, like your own business or whatever. Like us again. Yeah. Or you're wasting it on, you know, social media, just liking something. Trikes. Yeah, Pornography. Exactly. That's it. But out of that whole time of the day, all you've got is four hours to yourself. So why would you waste it all on, you know, social media? So that, like, really uh, that, resonated with me when you put it in that perspective. Yeah, that was shocked sick. me. Yeah. Because well, I was listening to, I actually watched that same That's one. We sick, must watch the same hour. Yeah. And I was like, all right, this what he's got. Because I can't, remember, I can't remember what the topic was, but yeah. it was just like, why would I do that? And yeah. it broke down the day. <sighs> you were this way, you were champ. Yeah. You so, built different. Yeah, bro. So I'm, I'm trying to like, not turn it off, but I'm just trying to cut it back. So what that, the hell do you watch though? I've never seen you on I watch heaps of YouTube. So that's obviously how I've ah. seen it. And like all of my stuff. So I'll, I'll spend four hours a day. Because me and Mindu stream time. Yeah, so YouTube. I reckon... I can that like well, anything yeah. you're doing like this right now just yeah. is self-educating or trying to propel us forward in our business yeah. it's not included in you know social media as we, such we could turn around that streaming where it's just chilling and yeah videos. exactly if you can find a way to maximize those four hours if you are going to be on social media it's in a way that's going to benefit you not that you're wasting it just sitting there scrolling yeah. I, I think we'll be I, I partake real quickly along this note. Uh, challenge yourself. I'm challenging you guys out there as well to check your phones and say what or how long you watch a certain. So you can like go into your screen time. Yeah, well, I do that every night with men. What? So what do you? What's your? What's your? What's the most app that you have? You have um, let me have a look now. Mine's generally YouTube because I just sit on it. Yep. So I've been on two and a half hours today. And I spent 38 minutes on YouTube. Where do you go? Screen time? 
Yep. See? Your screen time, and it has normally goes on week, yep. and you just click day. Shit, mine doesn't do that. Oh, oh no, see so your activity? Week. <sighs> yeah. And so can... just today, right? Yep. Just today, I did an hour and 30 minutes on TikTok. Jesus. <laughs> was that watching or was that for Mahi Dogs? Um, I'd have to say probably just consuming. That's, just and that's consuming. fucking, yeah, bro. At work, so, you know, it's, it's cutting into my work deals. Nah, yeah. nah. <laughs> that's what I get paid for. Nah. <laughs> Um, there are times where I do consume it for the reason of looking for how we can level yeah. up Mahi Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. So I try and you know, look at who else is out there, what they're doing, yeah. the trends and whatnot. But then there's times I just got to jump off it. Yeah. But you what? You did, you did two hours. So you, you know, you, you... No, I did 38 minutes of YouTube. That's my highest. Oh, shit. So yeah, that was my highest, 38 minutes. I never watch anything over an hour because my screen time is only ever around two and a half, three hours a day. Not on purpose. For the week. Oh, for the week? Yeah, show me what your weekly is. Mine, Mine most used um, TikTok, four hours in a week. Mine Should break it down. That's not too bad. Three hours and 44 minutes on YouTube. So same, same. Yeah. But different, different yeah. platforms. Yeah. Man, what a, else? That was a good topic. Yeah. That was a good topic. Just what to stay it? along that topic. Um, is this your one? Yeah, um, the topic of the content. I actually don't watch TV series. One TV series I have picked up is the SAS Dare to Win. Have you oh, watched that? Nah. Actually, well, another one that I want to pick up is Squid Game. Oh, bro, I, that's what the boy, all the Everyone boys have been talking about it at Tani. I feel like I've read it, or like as a manga, I read a lot of manga, but I feel like I've read it, but I want to watch it anyway. It, I think it is a Japanese like remake okay. of something. I have to Apparently know. it's it's projected to be the biggest ever Netflix um no way. series. Yeah, you know what? History. A lot of that I'm not you know, I'm, I'm just pointing favours, a lot of that is to do for free advertising on TikTok. When I was scrolling through I saw maybe I'd say around five every now and then. Of the Squid Game. Within yeah, within maybe a couple of minutes of Squid Games. Ah, yeah. And if you see it enough. Just from eh? TikTok alone, I was like, yo, I wanna watch fucking Squid yeah. Games. Yeah. I mean, I was going to watch it anyway because yeah. I figured it was going to be a good one. But yeah. But anyway, this SAS um, Dare to Win fucking looked gangster. Like, so um, they take normal people and they take run them through an SAS program and, like, you can pull out whenever you want. Oh, is, Again, I saw this on TikTok. And the I Australian it. one or the UK one? I have, I know the, what you're talking about. The one where the honey badger fucking punches a chick. Yeah, punches a chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crack up. They say go full he ball, got, he just goes bang. Yeah, he got so much shit for that. And yeah, it wasn't even him. So he got pulled, called out. Yeah. And then um, the guy goes, does anyone want to verse this guy? And then yeah. the chick puts her hand up, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it soon. And then he was like, you got to switch it on. It's, yeah. And they're, they're, they're trying to teach the whole switching on and switching off that that anger mode. Yeah. Using it to your advantage. Yeah. Control. But having control of it. Yeah. And... um. But anyway, that's the whole premises of the thing. And you just get whittled down from, so you can pull out whenever. Yeah. Um, and then they came to me. There's a series that I want to bring into the Mahi Dogs where we do something, like we try something. So like, I think I've been talked about it a while ago, not on the podcast. But it's um, like Mahi Dogs try to be a boxer. Yeah. And so we've got to either sit a boxing test, like the, the testing stuff. Yeah. Of what it does to be a professional boxer, like yeah. it's like I oh, know, like a hundred punches, yeah, or something like that, and all the all the requirements to become yeah. a thing boxer. Then I was thinking about um, my head dogs try to be rugby player, obviously. Yeah. So, what are the what are the tests that you have to oh, do? Man. That'll be crazy. Like exactly, yeah. exactly. That's that. That's the what I want. That yeah. craziness. And so all the boys line up and go try and do that to be a rugby player. That's death. And then we work our way up, you know, like into maybe the SA, maybe get big enough. When we get big enough, yeah, we do the SAS one, yeah. and then we just get fucked up. <laughs> I, I, I quite like that. I think that's pretty cool. And I you can go across anything. To try. Yeah, like a we try out to be um, jujitsu or something. Like yeah, that. and we try and do like the first belt or something. And we try to be gymnasts. Up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We try to be, you know, Mahi Dogs try to be, you know, something. Yeah. Yeah. It could be, I think you can relate to anything. Yeah, to that'll be sick. And it'll be just about us just going through trying to do all yeah. these things. 
That'll be that'll be sick. The rugby one will be crazy yeah. today because oh, man, because because what we'll do is we'll be getting someone professionally yeah, in that yeah, area yeah. to come yeah. through. So we can get one and of I the guess trainers. You're professional. Yeah. We can get a trainer to come through. Well, yeah, you, and because you know some of the boys, we could yeah. get someone to do that anyway. Yeah. And it'll be like maybe Fuck, maybe tough. the the testing is for the All Blacks, right? Because we want to go to the top. Yeah. We don't want this bottom feeder shit. We want the top. What they do to get into the All Blacks, or yeah. whatever, you have to be able to do. Yeah. And then man, that's gonna be some crazy times, man. It'll be a fitness <laughs> test. Like, and it's not even like a consistent <laughs> run. It's like yeah, I don't it's know. Ugly, man. Speed testing. We should do also concussion um, test. We should. Oh, we should do like maybe the same kind of concept where you, you got to pull that, like you got to have like a tag on, and once you pull it off, you're out. Yeah. But then maybe we gotta, there's got to be something in it. Yeah. I the glory of winning. Yeah. And then everyone just gets bags on you because yeah. I know, be you did cool. one run and that was it. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool, man. But yeah, that was my topic. I just wanted to bring up a new series. I know I've got all these different series going on, but I think that one would be sick because that yeah. kind of, that's along the Mahi Dogs one. Yeah. Your mate always try to be fucking a plumber or a bull yeah. and spark. I don't think sparking might be a bit dangerous. Try to be a plumber and just... <laughs> yeah, mate dogs try to be alcoholics. For <laughs> nah. Oh shit. We clocked it. Why is no one we pulling clocked. out? <laughs> 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 oh fuck. Ah, oh, I mean, so my one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my um, other topic was when I, when I was sitting there, I was... Like, because I was thinking about the mental health awareness stuff that's been going on this week as oh, well. Oh, you son of a gun. That's fine. <laughs> I, I should have like... done it first. I should have done it first. <laughs> but yeah. your one might be different. My Go. one, my one's called Love Yourself. Oh, So okay. that one, what I what I put down was you only have one, like you have one shot at life and that's it. You don't, you don't, there's no replay. There's no game over, start again. So you only have one shot and, but you only know what makes you happy. Like people can always say, I, like this is best for you. I've been through this, like I know how to get here, but unless you're actually happy doing that, there's no point you like following what other people are saying. So you know what's best for you. What I'm saying is like to be happy, you just you just got to do you. This like, is part of the, the mental. So this is something that you're saying to yeah. your mental health. Yeah, towards mental health is you know your body, you know your mind, you know everything about yourself more than anyone else. Yeah. So, it's definitely taking the like advice of a salted grain. Is that the yeah, grain yeah. of salt? Grain of salt. Salt yeah. of grain. Taking salt the, the of grain. grain. Of salt. <laughs> we can remix it with the salt Far grain. Out, man. But yeah, like, I thought that would that would be pretty cool uh, coming up since with uh, with mental mental, mental health. health awareness. Like yeah. I think I'm fucking like that's a good topic too. Yeah. Like, like I don't feel like I've ever. Oh, I I've been in a few time like few places where I thought fuck this is. Like, this is really hard. Yeah. Like, mentally hard or on. physically hard? Nah. Oh, nah, mentally. I think physically, is, you know the pain. Like, for us, we're trained so hard into it, you know it's only temporary pain. Like, it's going to go away. But um, with, like, mental stuff, like, it could be, you know, bills. Mm. It could be, like, weddings, for example. It could be... Oh, like, I haven't been... To, I haven't got there, so. <laughs> it could be yeah, it could <laughs> anything with high stress. It could be a job. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you just feel like every everything's on you. Like you, you can't even yeah. sleep because you're just your mind's working so hard. So you have to just step back and actually figure out what's best for you. If that means you know giving up your job, going to follow your dream. Yeah. Like that's that's what it takes, and then you feel happier. People around you feel happier because you're projecting happiness, and then you're like all your wider, your mental and your physical well-being is a lot better and then your life is better because that's that's essentially what it's about. People always forget that and they just want money, they want results, they want this now and they don't care about the person or the product like what happens at home when the person yeah. leaves work or whatever it is. Yeah. So, yeah. That, yeah. That's my one. No, same along the same lines. Um, obviously, we're not therapists or anything like Shit, that. No. We're just <laughs> throwing yarns out there, yeah. which is always a good step just to kind of talk it out with I, I think that's actually a good point of difference, though. Like, we're not therapists. We're just normal people just yeah, like just everyone a, else. Yeah, see, so don't obviously, don't take any <laughs> don't of Don't quote us and say, oh, these can't yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do any of that. But the, obviously, I think one of the first steps is just to... Because I, I, I've been kind of... Um, I, I don't know if we should... Uh, do we want to save it for this one? Or do we want to do another? Because I did... Yeah, no. I think we'll do like a big, big yeah. one. Because... On separate one. What I wanted to do, which is going to the topic going off your one. Yeah. Um, was, yeah. 
go do so obviously it's mental health week but i want to kind of push that out for the month or yeah. even if so say we do the month and maybe some of the boys want to still tell some of their stories yeah still bring that through yeah um but you know bringing having those hard conversations around mental health um mm. And then I think by opening up in this platform where we can just talk about it, where there's one on one, whether it's in a group, yeah. people can feel like the boys can be over. And obviously, yeah. I'm saying the boys because obviously, it may those were connected to them. So yeah. for you, it might be someone else. But um, yeah. opening that up, that conversation around that, because I've got a fucking, you know, I, I think I've been for the grinders mm. lately, or f- for maybe even a couple of months ago, kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, you know another story for another time yeah which we will be doing I want sorry the thing that I was getting at is I want to probably do every week for the month a podcast about mental health separate one eh, the, separate yeah, one separate yeah, one so yeah. this will be our going out every Wednesday so this is our first consecu- consecutive <laughs> week <laughs> is it, can you say that is it a consecutive <laughs> week <laughs> Our second yeah. episode. Our first ever consecutive week. I say, sorry, I say it's a second episode. It's not the second episode. It's just, now we, I'm just going to keep it consistent. Yeah. Every week yeah. say. Consistency is key. Yeah. Whether it's both of us, whether it's just one of us, whether it's someone else, whether we get someone in. Yeah. Um, just keeping Mahi Talks going and then proving to ourselves we can provide value just by talking shit. Yeah. People follow. Uh, follow. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> so they'll be doubling up and then maybe, so, um, no, no. I'm not going to say maybes because maybe it doesn't get work done. Yeah. This Friday, I'll be dropping one on mental health. Yeah. We could save our one for the ending or we could go first or we could do one-on-ones with the cameras. Um, but we'll figure that out. But then I know that Ethan wants to get on, say some yeah. things. I haven't put it to the boys, but I'll put it to them and say, hey, look, this is what I want to do. You know, I'm keen. Yeah. Probably whatever makes everyone comfortable. But I think, like, if we... Like, we're always approachable and we always know, like, our mates yeah. are there. We've like, got to look call, after ourselves. text, yeah. whatever. Like, I think that's probably the most important thing. So if we, if they feel comfortable doing it by themselves, like that, but I think if we could do it all with each other there, we're comfortable enough, then we know, you know, we can trust our mates. Yeah, and that's where we want to get to that, that level of trust between, like, yeah. because if we open in that way, then we're yeah. going to be way more open in a business way. Yeah. Be like, oh, actually, I don't think we should do this for this oh, I think it builds it? a stronger relationship too because then you know something about your mates that you otherwise wouldn't yeah so you're you're making yourself vulnerable to other people yeah and that's all that is just opening up and oh, yeah, everybody, huh? I love being vulnerable yeah <laughs> <laughs> but again just having that first conversation yeah. just fucking opening it. and I'm not, uh, we're not going to force anything obviously nah. um, just hope that it grows naturally and go from there but how's that I think we almost owe it to ourselves and our others that um, living in Northland, being Māori in New Zealand with the highest, so obviously, here's the breakdown of the stats. Obviously, New Zealand, one of the highest suicide rates. Yeah. Then you go to Northland, one of the, yeah. the highest it's in the country. Highest. And then you Be break highest. it down to Māori, yeah. highest, and then male, higher, you know, highest. You know, so it's fucking, we fit that demographic all the way to the yeah. team. Yeah. So it'll be almost, um, damn, I don't have any big words. It'd be almost um, damning of us not yeah, to. Yeah, damning, damn, like, you know, a, a shitty of us. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm going to use this podcast to uh, further expand my vocabulary. vocabulary. <laughs> but for the for the, for the now, it'd be shitty of us for not not yeah. to um, speak have about this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I mean, bro. Was that it for your topics? Yeah. yeah. That was a good one. We're right on the thirty minute mark, right yeah. where we want to be. Nice, beauty. Awesome. Say that. Well, that's going to be us for our podcast this week. Is there? If you got any value from this, let us know. Um, yep. Follow us on the YouTube and Spotify for our podcast only. But yep. you can find us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all over the place. Yeah, mahidogs.co.nz. Yep. Mahidogs.co.nz. That's going to be our main platform. Make sure you go check it out. Yep. Sign up to our emailing list so you can make sure you can keep up to our latest content once we start getting that going. Yep. <laughs> But for myself, K9 and Renman10, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Much love. See you guys later. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Yeah.